Hello everyone and welcome back to Wild Card Wednesday, Wednesday, January 6th, 2010. And a very happy new year to everyone. I hope you had a really great holiday season. Uh, for this episode, I'm going to be making a birthday card with some new Stampin' Up! products from the uh, Occasions mini catalog that went on sale on January the 5th. I'm going to be using the new um, stamps from Stampin' Up! They're kind of the acrylic, they're without the uh, wood block, so I'll show you how those work in just a second. They're new fantastic punches. This is the little tag punch and they come, they have a locking system on them like this. So when it's open, when you want to close it, you just flip this little switch in the back here and it locks your stamp in place. Great for storage. And then when you look on the side from the shelf, you can see exactly what stamp it is. And they also stamp through more than one item, whereas the other one only stamps through one piece of cardstock. This one will stamp through for sure two. These really great stitched felt um, embellishments. I love them. Uh, they're called Sweet Pea and they also coordinate with this amazing paper stack. Um, it's also called Sweet Pea and it's their designer series but the stack is just huge. I don't know if you can see some of the great papers in here. They're just absolutely beautiful. I just love them. So we're going to use some of them. Um, Stampin' Up! has got some really, this is just a tiny, tiny, tiny amount of the new products that they have. So I already took out this piece here. We're going to be using some craft card stock folded in the usual. This is five and a half by four and one quarter. So we're going to be using that. It's going to open this way. Just some Whisper White we're stamping on. And this is the piece of Sweet Pea paper that I took with these really long flower stems and on the other side it's got a really pretty inch design. So I'm not sure if this is, I'll have to widen it up so you can see this paper. There you go. The first thing I want to talk about is these clear mount stamps from Stampin' Up! It just looks totally different than the roll packaging but an excellent uh, thing for storage if storage is a problem for you and the name of the stamp set is also on the side so you can stack them. This one is called Well Scripted. So when the set comes, uh, the, the names here, if you can see these little gel names here, are on a separate piece of paper and they're kind of like a, a rubbery vinyl. -ish. But what I suggest is when you peel the paper that coordinates with the stamp, Leave the stamp inside this shape and match up the outline of the shape of the um, this top part to this. Apply it before you remove it. So we're going to be using this happy birthday one. So I'm just going to pop it out right now. You need to purchase acrylic blocks to use these kinds of stamps. But if you might already have some. So what you're going to do is you'll just lie down your stamp wherever you want it to go. Like that. And then you can see it through the um, acrylic block. And then you just kind of press down until it sort of adheres to the acrylic block. And there you've got it. There you've I'm going to take some basic brown and use our new stamps. And I think I'll stamp it right around here. So there, it's stamped really nice and clear. So I don't know if you can see that. There we go. I stamped my happy birthday and then I cut it out with the paper trimmer and then created a little um, old olive mat around it. And then I'm going to take my Signo gel pen and I'm going to put some stitch marks all around it because I kind of want to echo the same, same stitch marks that I'm using from the Sweet Pea felt embellishment. So you can see the stitch marks there. And so I'm just going to go around the happy birthday and make some stitch marks right now. I ran the same piece of two-sided paper through my Big Shot two tags die. And I got the two tags. I'll put this one aside and use it for another card. And this one is a bit of a 
folder type uh, tag. So it's got a score line that I don't think you can see. So I'll use my bone folder to fold along that score line and um, we'll finish up from there. The next thing I'm going to do, I've chosen these three pieces of the Sweet Pea Embroidery Stitched Embellishments. And I took this, although it has a stitch center, I just wanted to pop it up a notch, batting that little piece as well to again coordinate the green. So I'm going to adhere them on the front of this little tag flap. Next thing I'm going to do is take our happy birthday, take our happy birthday sentiment and put it right down here in the bottom of the card. The next thing we're going to do on my card, on my on my printed paper here, I corner rounded just the bottom. So you can see that. So I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the bottom of the card actually. I'll do both together. And then we're going to adhere this on the front, leaving a little bit of a mat all the way around. Especially at the top and the bottom where it's a little bit tighter. going to do is I'm just going to add a little piece of old olive ribbon to the top of this little tag here. It's kind of fun and bright. It's kind of neat to see some spring colors. My daughter's birthday's in uh, January so I thought this would be kind of a nice bright card for her. And the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to take the chocolate brown ink and just stipple it around, use a stipple brush and go around the edge of the tag here. I've poked my ribbon through and I've decided to take a little bit of uh, natural colored twine. It's kind of just string and just tie a bow to close that ribbon and again just add another element. I could have used white as well but most of the card had a creamy base to it so all that's left to do now is to adhere it to the front of the card. I think I'll take some mini glue dots and just glue the ribbon down. You don't have to worry about it not falling where you want it to. There. So we have a cute little springtime card for a winter birthday. So you just simply pop the sentiment open and it says happy birthday using some of the new items that Stampin' Up! has to offer. So check out their new Occasions mini catalog and I think you'll love some of the new things. And until then we'll see you next week. Bye bye.